hello also so far in this video series we have seen two different videos wherein we tried to configure a database mirroring so in the very first video what we did we used the full backup so we created a brand new database called HR we took the full backup of that we restored that full backup to our mirrored instance with restore with no recovery option and after that we started the database mirroring and it worked fine so let me go back to these steps so this was the first video all right so we took the full backup restored that and then we started the mirroring in second video we took the full backup all right we restored that a uh, backup to our mirrored instance and after that before starting the mirroring we took the log backup of our principal instance then before restoring this log backup to our mirrored instance we again we started or we tried to configure the mirroring and it failed reason being this log backup was missing we haven't restored this log backup last log backup to our mirrored node all right so that's why i mean after once we got that or once we realized that that log backup is missing we restored that log backup on mirrored instance and then we successfully configured the mirroring now in this third video what we are going to see is we'll create again the hr database we'll take the full backup of it after that we'll create some table one table employees table let's say we'll took we'll take the log backup of that okay will not restore that to our uh, instance mirrored instance yet okay after we'll take the log backup backup let's take the let's insert some records into that table and now let's take the full backup of it okay now instead of restoring this full backup and this log backup we'll restore this second full backup after full backup and log backup okay once we restore this second full backup to our mirrored instance we'll try to establish a uh, mirroring between these two nodes and we'll see what happens okay so let me go back to i will minimize this guy i'll minimize this guy as well and let's go back to node one as i said uh we'll drop all the current database uh only one database i have before that i need to stop the mirroring so i will task mirror remove mirroring perfect refresh delete okay let me go to node 2 as well mirrored node and if i refresh this guy here it's in restoring state uh, let me restore that database so what we did for that was not this guy yeah i have to run this command so i log into master database and I will bring that database out of a restoring mode or recovery. Okay. Now I can drop that database. So let me refresh it. Perfect. Delete. Perfect. So far, so good. Now let me go back to my steps. So what we are going to do is now uh, we have to take the create the database first, then create the take take the full backup then create the table and then take the log backup so let me log into my node 1 create the database new database hr perfect and that's supposed to be in full recovery model by default it is full only perfect now let's take the full backup of it task and backup um, full I'll remove this guy and I will add let's say full v1 I will give version 1 it's under this path Now I will create a table 
so let's say employees table create table EMPLO employees ID int name where care 40 let's say created on date time to 3 default get date let's say perfect table is created now I will take the log backup of this uh, task uh, where is backup backup I'll remove this guy add okay before that I have to take transaction log and log underscore v1 perfect now let's add few records into this table so I've taken the log backup now I will add some records okay insert into employees so id name values 1 mandar okay. so let's say second would be and third would be sakshi perfect so let me insert these records now okay now I will take the full backup of it okay that would be a second full backup after our log backup okay and that full backup will use to restore to a second instance so let me go back here task backup I will remove this guy add full v2 perfect so that's our second full backup it's full backup perfect all right now let's try to restore this second full backup to our mirrored instance so I will minimize this guy let me go to mirrored instance and run So I will go to Z drive MS SQL backup. So these are our backups. And here I will go to C drive MS SQL backup. I will delete all these backups. We don't need these are the old backups. And I will copy this V1, V2 and log here. Alright. Now what I will do, I will try to restore. Uh, so if I check I will try to restore this latest full backup okay with no recovery option and will try to establish a mirroring between those two instances so let's do that restore database file okay I have to go to devices and add let's select all it's a full v2 okay perfect oh one thing I missed was had to select restore with recovery so let's do that again restore database device add select all v2 I have to go to option restore with no recovery perfect so far so good okay now let's try to establish a mirroring between these two nodes perfect I'll go back to node 1 okay right click task uh, mirror configure security next no we'll look at this option afterwards in next few videos next so that's our principal instance now let's connect to mirrored instance okay next next finish and start the mirroring 
look at this what it says is an exception occurred while trying to execute a transaction sql statement or batch a mirror data mirror database hr has insufficient transaction log data to preserve the log backup chain of principal database now why it happened now let's go back to our steps even though we restored the full backup it is still asking for log backup now why is that why it is still asking for full backup reason being full backup and log backups are totally two independent things so let me go back to our documentation let's open this one so this is the url from its microsoft documentation now it's about transaction log backups now let's look at this example which they have mentioned how a sequence of log backup works the sequence of log backups log chain is independent of data backups so remember log backup is independent of your full backup or differential backups it's totally independent so let's look at this at 8 o'clock they have taken a full backup it may be differential backup or full backup at noon they took transaction logs transa transaction log backup at 4 pm they again took transaction log backup at 6 o'clock it was full backup or a differential backup and at 8 pm again a transaction log backup now look at this particular sentence what it says is the transaction log backup created at 8 pm contains transaction log records from 4 pm through 8 pm so this one contains records from this to this it, it is, they haven't mentioned it contains records from 6 to 8 so transaction spanning the time when full backup was created at 6 pm spanning the time when full backup so it also includes so when you take the transaction log backup it starts from last transaction log backup not from last full backup or differential backup okay so that's why it also includes 6 pm so that's why they have mentioned spanning the time when full backup was created at 6 pm the sequence of transaction log backup is continuous from initial full backup created at 8 am all right so that's why if we go back here again so when we took the very first full backup it worked fine the mirroring worked fine because we haven't taken any log backup after that okay moment you will take the log backup your first full backup will not be useful i mean it it will be useful but you cannot simply use that particular full backup or this second full backup or even this once you take the log backup we cannot simply use that full backup or even subsequent full backup to start the mirroring okay so you have to take under log backup so again so let's go back so let's read this sentence once again the sequence of transaction log backup is continuous from initial full backup created at 8 am to the last transaction log backup created at 8 pm okay for in for okay now let's go back and let's read the first prerequisite now here if i scroll down what it says is over here so restore the recent full bad uh, full log full database backup okay restore if you have any taken differential backups we haven't took, took any differential backup read the c restore all lag log backup done since the full backup or differential backup okay now thing is after our full backup we haven't took any log backup okay so either we can restore this log backup or we can create another log backup and restore that so let's what i will do, try to do is now this uh, restore full backup and so uh, we try to establish a mirroring and it failed okay so either i can use this log backup okay or i can create another uh, i can take another log backup and restore that but let's try using this log backup okay so let's see what happens so i will go back to mirror 3 let me minimize everything all right and i will go back to mirror 3 and 
now I will restore the log backup so let me so the only one log backup we have taken so far options uh, restore with no recovery it failed why it failed the log backup log in this backup set terminates this 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 which is too early to apply to the database now thing is we have already taken the full backup and we are trying to restore the old log, log backup that's why it's erroring out so we cannot really use this log backup so let's try to create another latest log backup what I will do I will go back to node 1 task uh, backup 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 uh, log backup remove add log version 2 perfect I will go back to mirrored node now so log v2 perfect uh, restore database device add all log v2 that is the latest log backup after our full backup after this version 2 click ok go to options restore with no recovery and this time it should succeed perfect it got restored all good okay so we took second log backup we restored that log backup now let's try to establish a mirroring now now it should succeed so let's see I will go back to node 1 right click task mirror configure next this is my principal instance this is my mirrored instance connect finish start mirroring perfect all right so let's try to add another record for perfect now I will stop the mirroring remove mirroring okay I will go back to mirrored instance perfect and I should see four records now perfect okay so just to recap moment you will take first log backup you cannot simply use your full backup or you cannot establish a mirroring using just full backup even though it is the latest full backup you still cannot do that so you have to restore the log backup moment you will take first log backup you'll have to restore or you use that log backup to a mirror instance then only and reason being full backup and log backup are totally independent so if I go back here as you can see here since full backup and log backups are totally independent moment you will take first full backup of your database you had to use that first full that particular backup or not next subsequent log backups to establish a mirroring thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video